Good morning. This morning, I truly did not feel like cooking, so I'm going to pop this pizza in the oven. It's pepperoni pizza with a croissant crust. I can't wait. Before I serve, put a little sprinklings on the top so I can get some green stuff. And what I've done before I actually eat this, I'm going to have a melody of some fruit, blackberries, strawberries, and blueberries. And also I think I have some grapes in here and some cherries. So I'm going to put this in the oven and then we're going to have fun. Okay, I have it all panned up. I just don't like the way these little pepperonis are. Do you ever take the pepperonis off and put them the way that you want them? Because that's exactly what I do whenever I get a frozen pizza. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't, but I don't particularly think they do a good job of spreading the pepperonis. <laughs> uh, so I go in sometimes. Sometimes I have extra pepperoni on hand. and Sometimes I just have to work with whatever I have on hand, like these. I try to make it so they're not actually touching. And also I try to make it so they go to the edge of the pizza. What is it? Why can't you guys put, oh, you see that? That's the dog food. Don't think it's something else, okay? <laughs> ah, Because I do understand on YouTube, people can see things that they think they're seeing, and it's actually not what they're seeing. So I just wanted to explain that. And the pepperoni is uh, freaking misbehaving this morning. So anyway, some of it's just fine. Like over here, they did great. I like it. I like it exactly around the edge. These are not around the edge exactly, but I won't be a no about it. And now as you see, I'm going to put a little extra cheese on it because, hey, that's the way I like it. And <laughs> this is extra sharp. I like it on top of the pepperoni because I'm, you know, that's not enough cheese, people. <laughs> is it cheesy? Yeah, it's cheesy. <laughs> what that lady said, don't go down easy if it ain't cheesy. She ain't lying. She's not lying. So that's what I do. Put a little extra cheese. And that's how it looks. The last thing I do is I add a little seasoning. Just a little bit. So I'm waiting for the oven to preheat to 400 before I put it in. Um... When you're cooking, you really do have to have a lot of patience. And we're almost there. It's still preheating. It's 360 now. So it's coming along. Like I said, patience is required. And finally, it's ready to be put in the oven. So here we are. We're gonna put it in a 400 degree oven on the middle rack, just to be safe. There we go. And hopefully we can change the time. It did say 22 minutes. I'm gonna put 20 minutes. Only because my oven does get a little hot. All right. So there we go. And that's it. We'll see it when it comes out. Oh, we're coming right along. We have nine minutes to go. And also remember, if you have an oven light, you can just simply turn it on. There's no need to open your oven and disturb the heat. Then it's just gonna take longer for your pizza or whatever you're cooking or baking to get done. The crust looks absolutely fabulous. It's getting fluffy, just like a croissant. They didn't lie on that part. The picture on the box is one of the things that influenced me to get this. That and my love of pepperoni. <laughs> anyway, it continues. We got about eight minutes. Yes, eight minutes to go. And we'll check back and see how it how it does. And it is finished. So we can turn it off. 
I've gone ahead and taken it out. I've added my little garnish that's some banana pepper along with it. And so I'm just gonna put it back in there. The oven is off. I'm just gonna leave it in there for um, hmm, about a minute or so. It did look good, didn't it? <laughs> oh, 11-11, hello. On the second minute that it's been in the oven, I went ahead and added some pineapple. <laughs> I know some of you are going to hate me for that. But pineapple on pizza is delicious. So, I took it out after another minute. And it was still kind of <clears throat> a little soft in the center. So I put it on five minutes and I stuck it back in the oven. <laughs> so we just have to wait. And meanwhile, I'm going to eat these fruit. Okay, it is ready. This time it's really ready. Oh, uh, yeah. That's the way I like it. The directions do suggest three to five minutes of resting time. So this is where <laughs> my patience is required on extra. I'm going to see if I can wait three to five minutes. And while I was waiting, guess what? I got a paper towel and I drained, I tried to drain most of the pepperoni oil off of the pizza. And I've done that. And so far, so good. It looks good, right? Look at that cheese. Woohoo! Dangly. Mmm, that's a side view. It still looks good. And not, you know, one thing I hate about pizza, even with the best of toffins, is that uh, it's kind of soggy or, I don't know, doughy. And I hate doughy pizza. But this seems like it's going to be okay. Let's give it a taste test. That was pretty good. So to recap, the directions required 22 minutes. I did 20 minutes, found out it wasn't enough, and put it in for an additional five minutes. So for a total of 25 minutes. Now don't worry, <laughs> I didn't eat the whole pizza, okay? I put slices away. Now I can take a slice. Once it cools down, don't close the bag. We're gonna let it kind of a cool off. Some people don't like to do this, but you know what? Okay. But then uh, once it cools down, I go ahead and put it in my freezer and I can just grab a slice for lunch or dinner, depending. And that's it. <laughs> Pretty easy, right? So do it anytime you feel like doing it. <laughs>